Hey guys, welcome to SSC Nitec Social Design. And today we are going to see about the forage activity. In the previous two videos of this video series, we have discussed about the get metadata activity, and after that we have discussed about the filter activity. So if you haven't watched those two videos, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward. I'll provide the link of those videos in the description of this video. So what is for each activity? So the for each activity defines a repeating control flow in the Azure Data Factory or SNAPS pipelines. The activity is used to iterate over the collection and executes specified activity in a loop. The loop implementation of this activity is similar to the for each looping structure in programming languages so basically it will be going to accept a input and that will be the array and based on the array values it will be going to loop through one by one so this is the main purpose of the for each activity so in the previous video we have already created this pipeline let's understand about the requirement first so as per the requirement here we are having a container and under this container we are having four files so first two files are employee files and other two are the payroll files so we just want to load these files into the sql server tables so this is the requirement so how we can do that because employee file is having different data structure and payroll file is having different data structure so for this we have already created this adf pipeline where in the get metadata we are going to get all these four files and in the filter activity we are splitting employee and payroll files now as we have seen we have two employee files so we have to use the for each activity so for each activity is going to loop through one by one among these two so let me connect with this filter activity and this for each let me call this as for each for employee now here in the settings we can see the items so in the items we can select the employee output of this filter activity now let me click on ok so we are done with the for each activity similarly we have to do one more for each activity and that for each activity for the payroll so let me connect with the payroll here and now let me call this for each for the and in the setting this time the item that should be the output of the filter activity of the payroll so this is the output let me click on ok so we have done with the for each activity now under this for each activity we are required to use the copy data activity so let me go by clicking on this pencil icon and here we have to use the copy data activity so this copy data activity is for employee so let me call this as employee now go to on the source and under this source we have to create a data set so we are more concerned to creating the data set because this data set should be dynamic and it will be going to get the file names from the for each activity so let me create a new data set and this is for the azure blob storage click on continue delimited test file click on continue here let me call this as for each employee so it is not so we can remove this so for each employee now in the link service we have already created the link service for the get metadata so i am going to use the same so let me go on the browse so we are in the root folder and under this input folder we are not going to select any file here because this file will be getting from the for each so we can click on ok so this will be going to set a letter don't worry for this now let me click on ok so we have created this data set now click on this open and here we need to create one parameter and by passing the values on that parameter inside the file so first let me create a parameter and call this as 
file name go to the connection under the file let me select that so everything is okay till now now go back to the previous tab and here now we can see under the data set properties the file name so this parameter value it is asking so from where will be going to getting this file name value so this should be on the output of the for each so let me go on the add dynamic content so here we can see this for each for the employee one after that dot name so that is okay now we can click on okay so we have set up for the source let me go on the sync side and here let me create a new one and this should be the azure sql let me click on continue as we have already link service for azure sql ssu prod because our tables are in prod database so ssu prod and these two tables are there for the employee data and pay so here we need to select the table name so that is the employee data for sure and here we can call this as for each employee it's already there so for each underscore employee let me click on ok so we have set up everything and one thing that we did not set up so we need to go back here the first row of the file that is the column names so here we can see the first row as header so we need to set this like that so we have done for the employee we have to do the same thing for the payroll as well so let me go quickly here let me drag and drop copy data activity and here let me call this as copy data for payroll go to the source now click on new here let me go on azure blob stories as this is the source delimited file link service we have already created that is get metadata first row as header we can select it here now for the file path we need to browse so let me browse it go to the input don't select any file click on ok directly again ok so we have set up this data set now we can directly click on this open and here we have to create the parameter as i told you earlier so that should be the file name and here we can go back and it will be asking the file name here so this should be coming from the output of this for each pay so that looks okay and this should be dot name so this will be the complete one click on okay similarly go to the sync site click on new and this should be azure sql click on continue link service we have already created and the table name that is the pay and click on ok so we have done for the payroll as well go back to the metadata now we can execute this and it will be getting the files and loading into the required tables so let me debug it so copy data pay location is empty okay so let me go back there in the copy data so for this we can go directly in the delimited text too so this file location is empty as we have created the parameter here so this parameter should be mapped with this file so let me go here and add this file so now everything looks good let me try to debug it now so this should be executed and data should be loaded in the required tables so it's running now get metadata activity is executed so filter activity is completed along with the get metadata for each activity is executing now and here we can see the copy data activity is executing in below of this output so similarly we can see copy data is in progress 
so copy data page completed employees executing so all these are completed successfully so now we can go in the ssms and we'll try to check the tables so now tables should have the data as we can see it has six rows and this is our again having the six rows so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video